Faith, you got the last question. I just had to say good job. Oh, you know, I agree with you guys. Let's unmute ourselves and tell Professor Marson what a good job she did. What is it? You're the best teacher and scientist ever. Oh my goodness. We loved it. Professor I ever seen. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm recording. So, Professor Marsum, you may begin. All About the Blood Supermoon by Anna Marsum. Ooh, nice transition. Okay, sorry, excuse me. What is a blood supermoon? A blood supermoon, as known as lunar eclipse, occur when the Earth lines up between the moon and the sun. This hid the moon from sunlight and blocked most of the blue light with the remaining light refracting onto the moon's surface and causing a red glow. What does the blood supermoon look like? The blood supermoon looks like reddish or a dark red color. This is the reason why people call this a blood moon. When you see the blood supermoon in the night sky, you will see that the moon looks like it starts disappearing, but after that, it starts reappearing and turns into a red color. After that, the moon disappears again and turns into its original color. How does the blood supermoon form? The blood supermoon happens when Earth's Moon is in a total lunar eclipse. When a total, when a lunar eclipse happens, the Earth lines up between the moon and the sun. The view in the sky is shrinking as the usually whitish moon becomes red or reddish brown. That's so fascinating! Whoa. Why is the blood supermoon red? This blood moon occurs during a total lunar eclipse. During a total lunar eclipse, Earth lines up between the sun and the moon. The air molecules from Earth's atmosphere scatter out most of the blue light. The remaining light reflects onto the moon's surface with a red glow making the moon appear red in the night sky. Oh, Professor Marsum, I just must say, how beautiful is the moon when it's my favorite color? Oh, I love that. Let's keep going. When does the blood supermoon happen? The blood supermoon mostly happens in one or two years. In real life, on Wednesday, 26th, May 2021, the blood moon will truly happen.
Is that the end of it, Professor? Yes. Is that the end of it? Oh, my goodness. I love your presentation. Let's give the professor a clap. Oh, my goodness. That was wonderful. You know, I love how you, your slides were black. And then when you put the moon on the black background, it just makes it, it looks like it's jumping off my screen. I really love the way that looked. So does anyone have anything to say or any questions for Professor Marcia? <gasps> yes, Kaden. So the question I have went, why the why is the blood super moon red? And what and why does it keep on turning red early in the morning? That's a great question, Professor Marson. What's your response? So, um, the blood moon turns red because the Earth is between the sun and the moon, and and the rainbow is, and, and the rainbow goes to the Earth's shadow, and the other colors stop at at the shadow, but the red, but the red part of the rainbow keeps going, keeps going, and then lands on the on the moon's surface. But why does the rainbow land on the moon's surface, Professor Marson? Uh, I don't know. Okay. okay. How about anyone else? Yes, Paige? Is the blood moon hot? That's a good question. What do you think? I, I don't really know if it's hot or not. Hmm. Faith, you have the last question. I just had to say, good job. Oh, you know, I agree with you guys. Let's unmute ourselves and tell Professor Marson what a good job she did. What a good job, everyone! You're the yeah. best teacher and scientist ever. Oh, my goodness. We loved it. Professor, I ever seen. <laughs>